Good evening. I am Courtney Burgundy, and welcome to Five Minutes. On tonight's edition, we will be discussing the mysterious disease process of rheumatoid arthritis. This disease currently affects more than 2.1 million people in America alone. We are fortunate enough to receive this fascinating, exclusive interview with Dr. Shirley Temple. On site with Dr. Shirley Temple is my personal, world-renowned journalist, Veronica Corningstone. Now I understand that you've been studying rheumatoid arthritis for about 15 years now. What can you tell us about this fascinating disease? Well, Veronica, this is a disease that attacks our joints. Our body has what we call white blood cells, and typically these blood cells attack unwanted invaders. However, in rheumatoid arthritis, these WCs attack the synovium fluid which surround our joints. Eventually, the joints become inflamed and resulting in loss of shape. If you have RA in one hand, you're going to have it in the other hand. If you have it in one knee, you're going to have it in the other knee. We call it symmetrical. So, exactly how would you know if you have rheumatoid arthritis? What would you be feeling? Well, typically, early symptoms are fatigue, stiff stiffness after long periods of rest, weakness, they can have flu-like symptoms, like a low-grade fever, and they'll have pain. Now, how would one go about knowing that they have rheumatoid arthritis? Well, there's no exact test to diagnose RA. Most patients that come in will most commonly feel RA in their hands, wrists, and fingers. We'll then sit down with the patient and do a medical history on them, a physical exam. We'll run some lab tests on them, x-rays of their bones, MRIs, and we'll um, do some ultrasounds of their joints. Who is at risk for getting rheumatoid arthritis? Great question. Um, women are definitely more at risk than men um, to developing RA. Um, but we see the ages starting at 35 till 60. Uh, we also see that if you have a family member who has RA, you have an increased risk to develop the disease. And of course, smoking increases your risk. I found that there was no actual preventative measures to actually take for rheumatoid arthritis. Is that correct? It is. So then, for those people living with rheumatoid arthritis, what do they do? The good news is we do have medication options targeting inflammation and pain, which is something the patient and the MD will discuss. Furthermore, we'll encourage patients to get physical exams. We want them to make good, healthy eating choices. Um, we want them to exercise um, and also abstain from any dangerous behavior. Do you have any additional information or advice that you could give to these patients? I would encourage patients to get creative, staying active. Study and research has shown that patients with RA who exercise daily or do the range of motions have actually helped with the rheumatoid arthritis. And now, on to a more intimate perspective of this fascinating disease. Here's a woman's tale of how rheumatoid arthritis has affected her life. Jan was an average American girl, an accomplished piano player, and active mother of three. She was diagnosed with rheumatoid arthritis nearly 26 when years I used ago. I to do calligraphy and knitting, but those things all came to a stop. I had to learn to accept that. I didn't know what it was because nobody in our family ever had it before. I was taking a class in quilting and it began hurting my hands to do that. After three blood tests, her diagnosis was confirmed. She had rheumatoid arthritis. Every evening I go in the jacuzzi and while I'm in it, I have no pain at all. So, I love it. <laughs> While there are still lingering questions about what caused this to happen, Jan has learned to live life around this disease process. Jan is just one of the many patients who battle rheumatoid arthritis on a daily basis. While we do have a wealth of knowledge on this disease, we are still searching for the cure. Those interested in more information, please visit www.arthritis.org. Thank you for watching this night's edition of Five Minutes. Stay classy, Moorpark College.